Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how I installed my lace frontal unit. This hair was sent to me by I'll Be Here on AliExpress. It was a 26 inch deep wave wig, 150% density. And the hair, it was very soft. And it had little to no shedding. But overall, the hair was good. If you're looking for affordable hair, this wig will be linked down in the description bar below. And go get you some I'll Be Here, period. So first, as you can see, like I'm doing the ball cap method because every time I get a new wig, like I just feel like it's mandatory to do like the ball cap method to get like that flawless effect. So this process and step is like very self-explanatory. So I'm just going to let you guys watch to see how I do it and I'll come back when I'm about to put the hair on. I've been seeing like a lot of people do like what you guys just see me do. I put the got to be glued gel like on the ball cap to s make sure that it's secure and like laid down so that I can actually get like that ball cap effect. So as you can see like I'm putting it like on the edges where you see like a white cast on the ball cap so that I can ensure that it's laid down. take my foundation shade that matches my skin complexion I'm gonna apply it on top of the ball cap to match my skin tone another fun fact for when I apply my wigs I use my blow dryer on the hot setting instead of like cool because I always find it that my like my lace it never lifts and it's always like secure like it's, it's way more snug when I use like the hot setting so I don't use like the cold setting so if you want your wigs to be snatched and snug and fit somebody pull it and don't you don't want it to lift or whatever I always use like the, um, the hot setting on the blow dryer so that same foundation that I put on my ball cap I'm applying it to my lace also so that any miss bleach spots or you know anything like that is like covered and matching like my skin complexion and it's giving that true scalp effect so now i'm gonna take my got to be glue gel and i'm gonna apply that along my hairline to get ready to place my wig and lay it down So when blow drying, you want to blow dry on hot, like not too hot to where you're, you're like burning your face off, but 
hot enough to make sure that the glue gets tacky to make sure your wig is going to be secure and in place and snug and fit and tight and slay to the gods and that's on period. So now that my lace is on the glue, I'm using my comb to make sure that my lace is on, stuck, and in place. So as you can see, I'm just going in and like combing it back to make sure there's no like hairs on the glue or like on my lace. when I was acting stupid you see that I had my scarf on so I laid my lace down for about I want to say 10 minutes and now I'm going in with my hot comb to make sure that there's no like flyaways or um, strands like sticking out and I'm gonna do that like first before I really like get into it so now I'm gonna go with my care care wax stick and then I'm gonna put that on my roots of the wig to make sure that it's flat and then I'm gonna go back in with my hot comb one more time to make sure that everything is flat, nice, and sleek. So now I'm parting out my baby hairs and I parted my wig down the middle to do my baby hairs because I feel like with big hair it's kind of hard to um, do my baby hairs like with the side part. So I parted it down the middle to make sure my um, baby hairs are going to be popping and that's on period. And to lay my baby hairs I used my free spray but I got to be glued first and then I went in with a little bit of um, the edge booster gel. So I used the free spray to make sure that my baby hairs don't move and then I made sure I used the um, edge booster to make sure that my um, baby hairs are sleek.
after everything was done i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment share subscribe and turn on your post notifications to stay tuned when i drop more Thank you.